Oh my god. From what I know, especially from the movies, red doors are usually a no-go. I could swear I just seen that broom move from there to here. I caught that on the mirror, in the reflection of the mirror. <laughs> that was creepy. Yeah. Oh, oh! <laughs> What's up guys, Mo Sarge here. Welcome back to another adventure. Today I'm inside of this haunted mansion in the middle of the forest. This place is super cool. Supposedly this place is haunted, which is why it was abandoned a long time ago. I'm here with Jimmy and I'm here with Ethan. Ethan brought me here. Uh, big shout out to both of them. Their Instagram links are down below. Go follow me on Instagram and at Twitter, at Mo Sarge. I wanna show you guys this entire, the big ass mansion. Like it's cool, this is an old retro mansion. You guys remember the last video I showed y'all? It was a retro mansion with a pool table and there was something really cool that I showed you guys in that house. This video here has something even cooler that I'm gonna show you. It's actually something I've never seen in any abandoned house before, so I hope you guys are gonna stick along for the adventure. Smash that like button if you're a sergeant and if you're here in full force. Smash that like button if you've got yourself my new LAL merch. Check it out, the link is down below, guys. Get yourself some Christmas merch before Christmas is all gone and there won't be enough merch for everybody. So go down to the link right now, get yourself some merch. Let's get on this adventure. I wasn't joking when I said this place is in the middle of the forest. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's go inside and explore this place. I just came in through the front door, so I have not even explored this place yet. I've only seen a couple pictures. I've been really loving these retro mansion videos. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. Um, so supposedly this place has had a lot of haunted activity in it. Um, from doors slamming, cupboards opening up all by themselves. Um, a lot of screaming can be heard inside of this place. Yeah, so the people that died here, do you think they could be haunting this place? Which is why like, you know, yeah, for like sure. that's why there's like all these like stories about this place. Yeah, definitely. So there, there is a story that the old folks that did live here, um, it's abandoned because they're dead, they died. So these guys, they built some sort of old folks home before they died. So it's a old folks home is a, basically a place where old people can go and live out. Um, their lives. Apparently their spirits to roam around this house. I don't know if that's a fact, but we're just gonna be hanging out here for a few hours today. Um, see if we can get a bite. You never know, we might get a bite today. I'm hoping we do because it's been a while since I've done anything haunted. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something really, really creepy inside of this house. It's actually down that way. But before I go down there, whoa, what was that noise? Just this. Oh, this what is that? Oh, that's so cool, what is that? Tapes in there. It's like a radio. Yeah. Old school. Look how retro that is. I know, right? Awesome. Oh. Does this gonna open up? No, it doesn't. This kitchen is so old fashioned. Look at I wonder if these guys have left. Oh, there's just lots of mold in there. Oh. I always say it to myself that I'm not gonna open those things up and I always end up doing it anyways. But take a look at this. They got this fireplace left behind here. It's really interesting. It's made of concrete and there's actual firewood sitting right there. I'm really excited to show you guys that one creepy and scary room downstairs. It's literally like something out of a fairy tale. I've never seen anything like it before, but so far all these places here, all ret retro looking. What the heck is that thing? It's like a rainbow in the carpet. It literally looks like unicorn poop. Yep, that's it guys. Unicorns took a poop in this room. This is what it looks like from the window over here. The forest on the other side. We actually had to go through the forest just to get in here, but it was well worth it. This place is massive. I can't wait to show you guys what lies down below. Apparently there's this like really creepy room. I seen a picture of it, but that's about it. Where is it? Oh my God, another pool table? How have I been getting this lucky? This is insane. So earlier this morning, like really, really early this morning, we filmed an abandoned mansion and there was a pool table in it and I showed it to you guys. You guys probably saw it in yesterday's video. Um, it all depends if I'm uploading these videos um, by order. But check it out, there's another pool table. What's with all these abandoned places with pool tables left behind? Like this could be donated to someone that actually needs it. I mean, I don't know who would need a pool table. Oh, hey, Mr. B. Are you alive? Guys, look at the poor bee, it's dead. Mr. B, come on, I can't pick it up. 
Guys, look at this poor bee. It's dead. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know who would need a pool table, but I mean, this could be sold, auctioned off. Money could be given to charity, in my opinion. But it's just interesting that I'm finding all these pool tables in these abandoned mansions lately. <gasps> Is that an aquarium? Whoa, I've never seen an aquarium in an abandoned place before. Now that's cool. That's cool. There's an aquarium in here. I like that. Go check it out. There's another fireplace in here. Lots of wood left behind too. So far, I think this place is kind of boring. Um, I haven't encountered or felt anything weird like a haunted presence. Um, but yo, Tom, my boy, you piece of shit, could be in here. I'm joking, he's not. Oh, what the heck? There's like a really creepy hallway going down this way. All right, so apparently through this hallway is where that room lies, the secret room. <gasps> oh my God, look at this door. I've never seen anything like this before. It's like a fairy tale. Like literally, you know those fairy tale movies? Like something out of like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Look how cool this place is. What the f I didn't even know you were there. It scared the crap out of me. Dude, look at this door. It's so cool. All right, y'all. Big shout out to Ethan for bringing me here. Thank you, Ethan. No worries. Shout out to him. But listen, we need to see if we can find some weird, spooky things that could take place in this house. What is this supposed to be? It's a weird light fixture. It's like made of fabric. Pretty cool, right? They had an old speaker system here. Intercoms, yeah. Intercom? I want to know what's inside this door. I bet it's killing you guys. All right. I'm not going to go inside this door. Not yet. Not until you guys smash that like button. Each and every one of you guys that's watching right now needs to smash that like button or I'm not going in. Okay? No, I'm just going to sit here and wait. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait. You got it? Good. All right. They all smash the like button. We're going to go inside. Thank you guys so much for those likes. Let's go inside and find out what's in the magical door. Whoa. Oh, okay. All right. I just, uh, just gets slammed shut on me like that by something in here. What is there, a draft in here? Guys, look at this room. It's this big, massive room with a weird ass step here. I'm guessing some kid, some bed might have been put up here. There's another intercom here, so this might have been a bed. There's a chalkboard right there. Oh, oh what the hell? I didn't even look behind me. There's another room in here. This place is full of surprises. I'm not joking, you guys. There's so much space in this place. Another room. Oh, this is the washing room. This is where the laundry took place. Pretty interesting stuff, you guys. Check it out. Again, from this room, you see the forest over there. Which I think Ethan seen a deer run through here earlier. Or a unicorn, one or the other. I don't know. Ew. I would be very surprised if these old ass laundry and dryers still work after all this time. There's all these cabinets in here. I, I honestly believe that at one point there was a bed over there. Not 100% sure. But please knock three times. A little kid must have lived here at one point a really long time ago. This is a 60s house. It's like retro style as well. Just like the last one that I filmed the other day. But it's pretty, pretty interesting. I've never seen a, a, a room with an arch like that before. Isn't it weird that there's this creepy red door in this abandoned haunted house? If you've ever seen movies, in movies there's always like these haunted houses with red doors inside of them. Look at this orange ass bathroom. No clue why anybody would even choose those colors. There's always that long hallway. As you can see here, there's a super long hallway. And then at the end of the hallway, there's a creepy red door. What's in there? Just like a crawl space. Whoa, I would have never even guessed that there's a freaking the secret door in here. It's just a crawl space. A little lock on the inside, maybe? That's cool though. Look at how hidden that is. It just blends in so perfectly. In the master bedroom, I like the whole time, like, I just felt like someone was like behind me the whole time. Just watching you? Like, just like standing over my shoulder, yeah. You know, it's funny. The reason why I asked you that yeah. is because when I was in the red room, yeah. I felt like something was there with me. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Room. yeah, exactly. I want to go back in that room, spend some more time in there, and see if, like, hey, you never know. There could be something lurking in the shadows of this place. 
honestly, when I was like just standing here, it literally felt like just something. Okay, pretty sure this door just slams all by itself. I was trying to say, it literally felt like something was just standing here with me. Let me know if you guys spot anything, some sort of shadow figure. I don't know, I, I just, I'm getting weird vibes from inside this place. Hey! <laughs> don't even do that shit again. <laughs> Yo, come on in here, boys. Please come on in. Come on in here to this haunted to red room, huh? This is to knock first. What if we don't? Are the ghosts gonna haunt us? I really would like to come back here in the middle of the nighttime and investigate further and see what we can find. There could be some like, you know, something going on in this place. I did feel like some sort of shadow figure. Oh, look at the spider web. The spider web's everywhere in this place. But that door is really, really cool. Yo, what are you guys up to? Weird place, bro. It is weird, right? It's got a creepy feel to it. I know, I know. There's all these cabinet, cabinets and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty cool, but I don't know, I'm not really getting it. You just walked in that door? I pulled this door open. It was a, you heard that right? Yeah. That came from over here. That door was already open. It's almost like it, as if one of you guys was just standing here right now and hitting this cabinet. No, bro. No, man. Go back there. I'd be interested to come through here in the middle of the nighttime and see what we can find. Oh, look at this, I found a file of some sort. So it's just nothing but some papers. Is it feeling like it's getting a bit stuffy in here now? Very. What? What is that? Oh my God. Okay, if that isn't creepy, I don't know what is. <laughs> I feel like when we came through the door, like when we came in. I mean, I don't know, it could be just our minds playing tricks on us, but from what I know, especially from the movies, red doors are usually a no-go. Alright guys, making my way back upstairs. I want to see if maybe... Ooh, that looked like a shadow just now. I thought I seen a shadow just come through here. Look at how old and retro this kitchen is. It's all yellow and orange colors. We've got this really long hallway here, super creepy looking hallway. Like this mansion, it's considered a mansion for the 60s. Nowadays, I don't think it would be considered a mansion, because, but back in the day, this would have been considered like something really big and special. But the way they built this house is really long. It's not that wide, but it's very long. And I know that's what she said, but, whoa, I never went into this room. Look at this. That's a cool chandelier. Look at how creepy the front entrance of this place is. It doesn't even look like the front entrance, but it is. Pretty creepy, right? All right guys, I think that's all there is to see in this place. I haven't really had anything crazy happen in here besides that cabinet making that loud noise, but I'm thinking it could be because of the cold. Um, it's getting really, really cold as, you know, the evening is approaching us. It's, it's mid afternoon right now. As the evening comes through, it gets even colder. It's literally minus 30 degrees Celsius with the wind chill right now. So I'm thinking that cabinet sort of compressed from the cold maybe. I don't know, it's just a freaking theory that I have. It's probably what caused that banging noise. I don't think it's anything. What the fuck was that? I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks on me because of the sun is on my face, but I could swear I just seen that broom move from there to here. Yo! Yo. Come here, right now. Bro, this broom just moved 
mean? Like I'm, I'm literally looking that way. That room was over there, and it went from there to there, silently. And I'm not sure if it's just the sun playing tricks on my eyes, but I could swear I seen it happen. No. Yeah. Yeah, that room was in there before. Yeah, it was over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 100%. What? 100%. I remember that specifically. I don't remember seeing a broom in here, but I'm like talking to you guys. I got the camera aimed and I'm like, okay. That's very interesting. Hmm. I would really like to come back here in the middle of the night and just spend the night here. I can't do it today though because I do have a crazy schedule today and we gotta go film a bunch of other videos today. But let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to come back here and actually spend the night here. I'll be down to doing it. I might be heading to USA next week, yet again. I know I was just in the USA but I do wanna go back and continue filming. I wanna film in Pennsylvania, I wanna film in Buffalo, I wanna film in a whole bunch of other locations. So I might actually be crossing over through the Buffalo border in Niagara um, next week with Carlo and some other people just to film some good abandoned stuff. What? What happened? Huh? Storm of life. What? Yeah, I was just in the closet, the master bedroom, and the bathroom door it shut by itself. I ran out and told them, and I just went back and it's open again. No. Storm of my life, I didn't touch it. So which one? Which room? This one? Oh, there's a bathroom in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. If you go in here, that <gasps> door closed while I was standing here. I just came back and it was open again. I swear to God. It's halfway open right now. What? It was fully open. That's not right. gonna go. I'm gonna I'm close this door up. It smells like poop in here. And we're gonna see what happens. So, what's in this door here? Maggots. It literally just opened as I'm looking in this closet. No, I didn't touch. Okay, I'm gonna close it. I'm, I'm gonna close it up. And I'm gonna sit here and watch this door. I'm just gonna sit here and watch the door. You two are out there. You you guys stay out there. Yep, nothing happened. That's so weird. I open up this closet over here, which has mirrors in it. I didn't even notice. Look at that. I open up the closet and I'm looking at it. Okay. What the? F what? This door just closed by itself. I mean, it could be it could be retractable. Are those actually maggots? Yeah. Yeah, this door here is retractable, so it's all good. Where do maggots come from? Where do they come from? Um, basically a lot of garbage. What's in this uh, door bro? here? Huh? Look behind you. What? Look behind you. Every time I move this damn camera. You think we're on like an angle maybe? I have an idea. Why don't I just leave the camera here? We can. Do you see that door behind me? That one? I caught that on the mirror, in the reflection of the mirror. Okay, okay, there's too many doors in here. There's way too many doors in here. <laughs> that was creepy. Yeah. Oh, oh! That one just flew open, bro. Bro, that one, bro! Bro, look at it! You two- No way, there's no way! Bro, there's way. no way! It's literally opening as I'm looking at it. No way. Holy f I got the shivers, bro. That's unreal. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. They, they were closed and then they just opened by themselves. That one and that one, they flew open. This is um very interesting. I'm just gonna close these back up. I got, that, that, that actually freaked the crap out of me. I'm not even joking, you guys. That literally freaked me out. Weird. The way these doors open and close. It's weird. Right, we walked in here, they were closed. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they just like boom. I had no idea that there was another bathroom in here. Oh somebody took a poopy in the bathtub. That's gross. I'm gonna have to see that in my editing. What? Someone took a shit in the bathtub. That's there. Yeah. That's why it smells like crap That's in there. Gross. I'm gonna have to see that in my editing, man. I gotta blow oh. that shit out. That sucks. All right, guys, I'm gonna end off this video right here, right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to come back here in the middle of the nighttime. Haunted is haunted, whether it's night or day, but it's just creepier to be here at nighttime. Let me know if you want me to come back here, spend the night, actually sleep the entire night, just like I did on the island with CJ. 
And if you guys haven't seen my recent videos, make sure you check my channel. I've been uploading almost every day. Check my recents on my recent posts. You guys can see my uploads there. Um, YouTube is not notifying you guys of the videos. So if you guys see videos that you haven't watched, please click and watch them. They're really entertaining and they're really fun. On that note, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to be you, do stay positive, and just live a little. It's time to get the hell out of here and jump onto another adventure.